When we talk about bard today, we're not talking about a poet. We're not even talking about the bard, Shakespeare, right? For you English lit lovers like myself. Today, we're actually talking about AI. We've seen the rise of chat GPT and other AI chatbots. And uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about uh, Google Bard entering the scene and uh, give you some impressions. By the way, before we do that, did you know that Bing has actually incorporated ChatGPT into uh, their search engine? Well, wouldn't you know, Google wants to play too. They want to integrate AI tools within their search engine as well. And so what is Google Bard? In a nutshell, Bard is Google's generative AI model. It's part of what's being called the search generative experience. Sounds like a band from the 70s, as far as I'm concerned, but it's certainly meant to function similarly to ChatGPT. The only difference here, or one of the differences, is now they want to integrate Bard within your typical Google search experience and give you some AI functionality. Now, Google Bard's current iteration, it's available just to some testers. It's not widely available yet. But why is digital? We've had a chance to spend the last two weeks performing some searches and testing Bard in its current form, testing this search generative experience. And so again, let's just share some of our initial impressions, including how we think this will affect the SEO landscape. Are we expecting a major shakeup or something more minor? Let's dive in. So with Google Bard, after performing a normal Google search, a new information box will appear above all the usual search results. And basically this info box is where Bard's gonna provide its answer to your query along with some citations as well when applicable. Bard also offers follow-up questions that might be relevant to your initial query. Now, this seems cool on paper, but you need to know that Google Bard right now is really slow like swimming through a sea of molasses or mud. It's just really bad. So we obviously assume this is gonna get better, but when we tested it, it actually caused us to start scrolling past this generating answer box and just go right to the typical search results we all know and love. Now that said, in the times we did wait, right, to stick around to see what Bard was gonna produce for us, Bard did provide info that satisfied our information needs. Bard provided the sources of the info it gave us as well. Typically, Bard was pulling info from three different sites. Sometimes a fourth would appear. And uh, only when clicking on an icon in a top right corner, you're gonna be seeing some info that was used from a particular site. Some other things we found, uh, we, we found that if we didn't provide a search in the form of a question, Bard would not generate a result automatically. Some of you know you love to um, speak to Alexa, or you love to talk to you and just enter a question within your search engines, but sometimes you don't. In the case of Bard, again, it wouldn't generate a result automatically. When we rephrased it uh, as a question, then it was generated automatically for sure. Why did this happen? Uh, you know, it might occur because the search was too broad. Bard couldn't generate a response to it. Maybe Bard didn't know the best way to expand the query. Again, this is still in a kind of prototype form right now. Just know that um, uh, large language models, LLMs, uh, used by search engines, they oftentimes need to take the initial query and expand upon it. And uh, Bard uses context clues to do this, certainly. Now, it's gonna be really interesting to see how users take to Google Bard. Are they gonna adopt it? Are they gonna adapt to it? We're gonna find out um, as Google works on Bard further and makes it more readily available. By the way, we hear this often, like is Google Bard gonna make SEO dead, right? What is this gonna mean for the future of SEO? Well, if anything, it might just mean the focus of SEO might change, but SEO is not gonna die, right? If you look at the history of SEO, you see different focuses placed on different things at different times. Uh, meta keyword tags, uh, and then there was a time when links were super important, and, and then now content, right? Uh, but users were never the, the big focus with, with SEO and, and Google. With Bar, they're definitely making a push, and we have seen a concerted effort by Google to uh, consider user experience factors. 
So all things considered, just know this, we're gonna keep an, our eye on Bard and we're gonna make sure that our clients are well prepared for generative AI tools like Bard and we will keep you posted on its impact on the world of search.